Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. We're so excited to have you again. The issue of Abaribe producing, that Senator Abaribe producing mass in Namdi Kano has been awoken again. You know, this issue was kind of swept under the carpet and forgotten about. But today, one of the lawmakers in the lower chamber brought up the issue and he demanded that something very drastic should be done about it. Though some other person also came up and they spoke about that same issue. And uh, that's just what is uh, trending right now. Don't forget that uh, Ndume, Ali Ndume, who is a senator representing Bruno State, had to face this same thing some time ago when... Um, the man that, that's uh, the chairman of pension reform tax team, Abdul Rashid Miana, got missing. He was the one that signed your tea for him. So when he got missing, he was summoned by the judge and uh, justice, sorry. And uh, the issue went so far to a point that he was thrown into prison. And right now, that's the, almost the same thing they want to do to. Um, Abaribe, Senator Abaribe. But then, we're going to look at all of that in detail. But before we go on, if you've not subscribed to our channel, kindly hit the red subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you can get notification anytime we publish our videos. Let's look at the news in detail. The Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, Idris Wase, on Thursday said, Senior Minority Leader Eninaya Baribe should be in prison for failing to produce the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipom Namdi Kanu, in court. Was it said Abaribe should be jailed, just as Senator Alin Dume, when he failed to produce the former chairman of pension reform tax team, PRTT, Abdul Rashid Miana, who he stood for as shorty. A member of the House, Sada Soli, had raised a point of privilege expressing displeasure over house over the minority leader in the house ndu the lumelu he disclosed information they had in a closed door executive session last week about some members planning to defect to the people democratic party pdp was in his contribution seem picked that Elumelu, after the accession, was in a meeting with People Democratic Party caucus of two chambers of the National Assembly. According to him, he said for him to even go out to report Mr. Speaker, it was a confidential matter. You know the meaning of executive session. He couldn't have gone there to report that one. Mr. Speaker, I want to say that there is a kind of false platform that I am seeing because after the meeting, PDP caucus of both chambers went and had another discussion, a kind of build up on the security situation, and I think we need to be serious. I see someone as Abaribe, who is a leader in the Senate, championing that, yes, there are many flaws. He bailed Kanu, Kanu Namdi, and during the answers, we knew what happened. Kanu then was the one who was asking for the head of Tinibu, destroyed this, destroyed that in the nation. But we have allowed him. He knew what happened to Ndume. Ndume for bailing Miana was taken to prison for not producing him. But we allow this man to go as opposition person. What is happening, sir? I think there is need for us as a system to change our tactics. It is not about opposition. If you are going to do opposition, do opposition that, that is right and also be part of the solution to problems. I think our privilege has been breached. There was complete wrong information and it is deliberate and that is why I am citing the issue of what I have seen the minority leader in the Senate had done with all of them sitting behind you. Ordinarily, for failing to produce Namdi Kanu, he should be in prison just like Ndume was taken to prison. Responding to Wase Uzoma Nkem Abonta, said there was already a judicial decision on the matter and wondered why it should be brought up at all. The man mentioned is my senator. There is a judicial decision on this. Are we trying to arrogate ourselves judicial power as to when you cannot produce someone who you bail? It was canvassed up to appeal. Is it an offense to bail someone? If you bail somebody, 
you produce him subject to um, no interference. The last contact the man in question had was with the military. The senator who bailed the man was going to call regularly. The senator did not default. He was called to show cause and he should cause successfully. Why is it a point of reference in the parliament? Mm. Now, somebody just had to come up to defend Abaribe. And this is quite exciting. Talking about Uzoma Nkem Abonta. He came up immediately to defend Abaribe that the issue had already been settled. And uh, there's no need of, you know, crying over spill mill. If it has been settled, why do you still go up digging up the issue? All right, but, but then it's good we look at what Nigerians have to say about this, you understand? The first respondent says here, I'm just wondering why this man, Abaribe, is still in the National Assembly. He should be jail. He has no business still being outside. Another one here says Senator Baibe is still the only sane Nigerian in the green, in the greenhouse today. No, it's not greenhouse. He, he, he's in the um, the red house. Sorry. Another person here says, Why did the Nigerian army attack Kanu's home to kill him? Since they know he has court case to answer. Another person here says, Wase should have been guided well by a sound lawyer before coming to the public. Now one says here, an invisible wall of fire surrounding a baby. He is on more less table. Mm. Another person here say, if any one thing happened to that man, you will be dealt with. <laughs> I mean, this is really serious. Now another person here says, is a baby the problem of this country? Why do you keep on discussing things that does not really, really matter? We know that Nigeria is facing a very difficult time. Nothing seems to be working. Currently, we the rate of insecurity has increased seriously. Instead of focusing on how you can solve the problems of Nigerians, you are busy talking about things that are totally tiny for consideration by a law-making gathering like yours. Ogabi guided. Another person here says, Abaribe is one of the most potent senators in Nigeria who will not stop talking and defending the people. I think that this is absolutely not the time to discuss triviality. Let's get focused once and for all and face the greatest enemy of Nigeria, which is insecurity. It is high time those in the house Think of the way out of the current situation that this nation has found itself. A lot of responses coming there. But I'd like to give you a chance also looking at what this man is saying and taking into cognizance what uh, Abunta, also the respondent Abunta, has given. What do you have?